think it's time that you should maximize the power of the law of assumption or law of attraction. Call it however you want at the end of the day, it is the same law, meaning in other words, the power of manifestation. There is so much talk out there about the best method to manifest, affirming, visualizing, this and that, and I'm, I'm going to tell you this, I have tried them all. I've been in this community for more than seven years now, and I can attest that every single method works. And it's not about founding, finding the best method, but it is about maximizing the power of the law so you can get your desires now and you can get them you know, in an effort, effortless way. All right, you guys, if you're interested in this video and you want to maximize your power of manifestation, this is the video for you, so just keep on watching. Hello, everyone, my name is Nea, and on this channel, I talk everything about the law of assumption, the law, uh, esotericism, and so much more. And actually, on Patreon, I do mix extra videos and podcasts. Today, I'm actually going to talk more about, and yeah, I want to make like an extra podcast, I think, about uh, this particular topic so if you're interested just join my patreon community and on my youtube membership i have e-courses as well as collective monthly coaching all the infos are down below in the description box so subscribe thumbs up and read the description box and now finally let's get started with the video so how to maximize the power of the law. Like I mentioned before, it seems like everyone is on the hunt, even subconsciously is totally understandable, but it's like everyone is on the hunt for the perfect method. What is it? Tell me. Is it affirming or this specific affirmation? Is it visualizing that it's gonna get my desire fast? What is it? Is it taking action? Is it reality transurfing? Is it this? Is it that? And it's like a loop where you're constantly trying to find the best method like I mentioned before I tried them all and I can assure you they were pretty lucky nowadays we can utilize visualization we can utilize meditation there's so many teachers we can use mind movies Pinterest I made so many videos about so many methods shifting reality studying quantum physics all of this because I was so passionate and interested in all of them and I want to try them all and I just can attest that they all work so there isn't a best method but there is a way to maximize the chances for you to have your desire faster and especially to be more effective and effortless and this is why I created this channel and this what is drive my passion for manifestation because I've always been good at manifesting even when I didn't had a lot of clear I didn't know how to maximize the law but I always got results but I always hated when people like all the time in my life they were like oh but you just need to be patient like it's something that always made my nerves and this is why I always try to find ways to make the law work fast because I am of the belief that sure divine timing sometimes okay yes it's true sometimes things have to happen the way they have to happen and within the time that they have to happen but it's not necessarily a hundred percent true it's kind of just like it really it's not because if you can maximize the power of the law you would understand that time doesn't really exist and that's the entire point and so this is what i want to explain deeply in this video and i actually made another video a year ago that is still relatable where i talk about time why time is real and not real at the same time so if you just want extra videos about this topic go ahead and watch my older videos it's quite interesting and it's, it's just in my youtube uh, youtube channel so how to maximize the power of the law. In order to maximize the power of the law, you have to understand these two concepts. You have to understand how your brain functions, so we're gonna get a little bit sciencey, but not too much, so don't worry about it. And you have to also understand the concept of time and the quantum field. So the infinite field of possibilities, what Neville Goddard used to refer as creation is finished or the four dimensional state. However you see it on whatever words you're gonna use, we are still talking about the same thing. So to maximize the power of the law, you have to maximize the power of focus, which I think is very interesting how nowadays society is definitely constructed to shift our attention and focus and to constantly get us distracted. I think it's done on purpose, even though this is a, a completely different topic, but it's like, it's not coincidental that the majority of people struggle with focus because they have been raised in a society that doesn't teach them how to keep focus. So because the tools that we're using are for distraction and losing focus and losing the span of attention. But here's the thing, 
focus and your span of attention is your currency. It's your energy. It's what makes you manifest. The more you understand this, the more powerful you become as a manifester. And it doesn't even take weeks or ages. You just have to click with this notion and practice it day by day. That's all. Now, affirmation really works and they really help because they are redirecting your focus to a dominant thought that is positive and is saying, I already have what I want. So obviously, I think they are the easiest method and the most effective method. And, the, and that's why they are practiced by so many people. But actually it's not about the affirmations in it of itself but it is about the amount of focus and the concept of time like i was mentioning before because if you want to maximize the power of the law you have to understand that time past present and future doesn't really exist and actually the more you project your desire into the future or you more you refer to the future because you're looking at the past the more you're filtering your reality in a very specific Specific way and the way many would explain it is you're filtering reality with your belief system belief system that comes from the past and assumptions that you have for the future um, actually I think you are filtering reality through your identification and most of the time people is not just identifying with I am poor because or I am lonely because this is happening in my life but it's also a identification within the ego like you identify so much with this character that you're playing and by identifying so much with the character that you're playing you cannot steal your mind from thoughts now, obviously, the control that we have over our thoughts consciously is only probably 5% of the conscious mind, the rest is subconscious, but still, it seems like a short number, a short percentage, but it's actually not. The more you're conscious of what you're thinking and the more you can steal the process of thinking, the better you're going to be and the more you can maximize the power of the law and therefore utilize your focus. So this is something that you need to understand. Why do you affirm? Why do you visualize to keep a certain dominant thought and to push out any distraction so you are focused on your ideal reality because you do understand that your ideal reality is already here and it's not somewhere distant in the future. Which leads me to point number two that I want to explain today, which is how our brain works. We have our, a part of our brain that is called the reticular system and it's fantastic because because it just shows you how we were built as a manifestation machine. This is not something that you learn, this is something that is inherited in your body. So in simple terms, the reticular system filters information for you according to your highest values and according to what matters to you, therefore your highest priority. This is very important for our brain because if we would uh, analyze all sorts of information, our brain will go into a meltdown as all this information together will be too much for the brain to um to process so the reticular system is almost like a surviving mode where you're only filtering information that matters to you you learned this when you were a baby in order to survive so for example babies that they understand and recognize every languages for example or every faces of every culture when they're born and then they usually get accustomed and they filter those information of languages for example according to their family and their you know their tribe let's call it this way and they do do this for what for survival reasons so they can survive and communicate with their tribe this is just inherited in us and can be used to manifest so just the power of our brain of how it works why this is important because we know that the reticular system not only prioritize on what is what is the most uh, what you value the most but therefore what are your dominant thoughts so if you can keep the focus understanding the power of now like Eckhart Tolle will say and understanding that everything is happening in the now and therefore your affirmations your dominant thoughts are helped by the reticular system because the more you think those things the more your reality will show you that you're right then you will maximize the power of the law of assumption but what happens instead many people get lost within the process and i give you a very simple example i want this thing 
I affirm for it, I visualize it here and there, and then I get distracted by all sorts of things. Meaning, in other words, I get distracted by circumstance, I get distracted by the 3D, I get distracted by comparison of other to other people, by social media, maybe I should dream different things, so they start changing their desire and their manifestation, and they get distracted by the past, they get distracted by their identification, and therefore they delay manifestation because of all of this distraction and therefore the reticular system what has as a dominant thought it has worries and distraction and so it will filter information so that will confirm your confirmation bias of worries and distraction so the more you focus on your worries the more the reticular system will show you that your worries are totally legit and you should get worried you should waver and you're absolutely crazy it's just that simple but if you would maximize the power of the law or of your brain as well and you will step out of your character and therefore being like I can identify with everything because to be honest I am not the body and not even the mind I am the observer behind thoughts I don't get distracted by the 3d reality I stay in the present moment in the void state and within the present moment, I affirm or I see the experience that I want to have. And for your brain, you're having that experience when you're visualizing, and I will give you another example, or even when you are affirming, then, and I will stay consistent within this focus, my reticular system will show me that I'm right and will give me more and more information to prove to me that indeed my desire is actually manifesting. It will do this by filtering information. It will do this by giving me another positive thought. It will do this by giving me more opportunity, ideas for actions, and so much more. If you can do this, you are maximizing the power of the law. And this is what I always do and this is why I became an instant manifester because I know how to maximize focus and how to maximize the power of the reticular system in my opinion so in practical steps what I advise all of you to do is to take especially if you are a beginner but you can do this anytime uh, you can also manifest multiple things at a time but my suggestion is even with multiple things, just take what you value the most. So step out of character for one second, step out of social media and step out of comparison, step out of what other people have made you believe that you need to manifest. Just be honest and authentic to yourself. What do you value the most? Because remember, the subconscious mind and the reticular system will filter more of those information. What you value the most, what is more authentic to you and focus on that without external distraction if you can do this by affirming and visualizing you will maximize the power of the law I give you an example what I value the most many people always accuse me yeah but you didn't you don't have yet like million subscribers or things like that how can I believe that you're a good manifester this has been like number one accusation from my channel which is fine I totally get it but I don't function in the this way I am not manifesting things because I have to prove something to you I am manifesting things because I do understand how my brain works and I do understand how to maximize the power of the law what I value the most it's not having millions of subscribers because I simply don't care my ideal life doesn't imply being famous because I see negative sides of that as well could be a, a limiting belief or could be just that I'm not interested what I did value the most is financial independence having tons of money having good investment and having the love of my life those were the number the, the top things that, that my reticular system and my belief system value the most and that's what I focus heavenly on and I got it in such a short amount of time because I simply knew how to maximize the power of the law I knew how to visualize that Neville taught I knew how to not see the love of my life the, the pregnancy or the money as distant from me but I always saw it as it's happening now 
now. It's happening in the moment and I'm staying focused and not distracted by a reality that is telling me that it's not happening because what matters is that I see it. And through the fact that those were also the things that I valued the most, my brain was in perfect alignment. It was showing me evidence that I was right and it became right and you witness it. If you have been following me since day one of this channel, you have witnessed witness, witness, uh, me manifesting what I always did, what I always wanted. Another thing, I wanted to have a very smooth pregnancy where people, I would imagine people tell me, wow, you look great. You didn't even gain a lot of weight. Like you look amazing. It seems so easy. Like you were born to be pregnant. And that's exactly what happened. Why? Because I was focused. And I love because I always visualize people telling me that I'm lucky because this is something that they have been doing since I was a child. Oh, but you are, you know, you're so lucky. They all always been saying that I let them believe it I don't care and I'm like and it always happens oh but you're so lucky you were born to do this like all the time but it's because I created that because that was on top of my value and my priority so when you function and you follow what you value the most without hearing what anyone else is saying your body and your mind works for you and so manifestation becomes effortless many people fail in manifestation because they're following something that it's not for them but not because it's not for them because they don't desire it, because they get convinced by, by other people that they should desire those things. So it's different because let's say that on your highest priority, there is winning the lottery and you truly believe that you can do it and you value that the most, that's gonna be very, very possible for you. There is no way because you're, at least you will be able to maximize the law in that sense because your reticular system is working for you. Many people want virality on social media, meaning millions of subscribers. I saw my colleagues doing that all the time. They really, really, really wanted that. They believe in that they were focused and for that for them that was their highest priority and therefore their brain their mind their body was all in alignment their focus it worked for them so my suggestion to maximize the law is to be authentic really really be authentic really notice what you care the most for me what I care the most was having a family having the love of my life finding my soulmate and having financial independence those was those were my highest priority you guys and I did it because I was authentic to myself so use the affirmation the power of time everything that we just discussed in this video even the affirmations that I gave you before in my affirmations videos in my challenge lately whatever it is by being honest with yourself and really maximize the power of your brain and what you value the most and especially by not getting distracted by other things if you do this it will get easier and easier and easier and then you can have fun with the law then the more you go you got the things that you value the most okay then you already got them you already experienced them then you can have fun with the law and you can manifest even things that you value less because then you have so much less resistance about them and it just becomes fun but that's a, a whole different practice and topic for a different video i think you just step up your game as a manifester in that sense but if you are at the beginning stage where you really want to manifest your dream reality it like that's how you maximize the law it's by also understanding how your brain works and maximize the power of your brain which is literally built to manifest okay you guys i hope this video was was interesting and it made sense i want to make an extra video about this on patreon so we can talk more about time as Especially and about the power of now. In fact, I'm gonna read from a book from Eckhart Tolle about the power of now because I do agree with many things he says and I wanna just comment on it. So if you're interested, just pop on my Patreon today. I will post this podcast. And yeah, I hope this was really helpful. Subscribe to have more videos and I see you very soon on this channel. Bye.